Okay, so here we are on part three of Introduction to Stud. I finally managed to introduce the stud boy after two days of courtship. <laughs> and the female has finally allowed him in the, beside her. She just constantly in a litter box, peeing and marking her. Marking, being territorial and marking her urine. She's marking more than her urine at the moment. Anyway, she's um, finally allowed um, Sir Bob, her uh, accepts of Roberto, and beside her without clawing the living daylights out of him. So he's finally in the room with her. He's sitting on a um, stud mat at the moment. Sorry, I'm a tracking mat. They're quite handy because they're grippy as well if they happen to mate on the tracking mats. But all we have down in the stud room is, well, it's got like a store. I use this as a store in here. It's a store for food. Oh, we've got a tiny little area, a central heated room, tiled um, for easy cleaning. And we just put down some vinyl in the Queens are here and it gives them a um, good substance to stand on and grip so they don't slide all over the place. Some people use, I have used rugs in the past, but they're, you know, they can carry bacteria and stuff. So I have used other litter mats, but I find a good old piece of scrap vinyl is the best um, piece of equipment for, for doing this. Either a vinyl room or if you've got tiles on the floor, Throw down a piece of vinyl. And here's, here's Bob just trying to invite her out the box. He's saying basically, come over here, it's safe. And he goes over to the edge of the room and shouts on her. Um, hopefully she'll accept his advances. So although they were only in, we're in part three here, we've probably spent about 14 hours just with the brief introduction. Um, through the mesh and now he's safely inside with her. Um, as you can see this girl's just lick lick licking. I'll have to be back in the box again. Constantly peeing. Mm -hmm. Smells like you've done more than a wee missus. But uh, we're back to a watching game. The stud will probably not take his eye off her. And he's looking for that moment to mate with her. She lets her defences down. He'll grab her by the scruff and he'll mount her. Um, she has been arching her back. Let me stroke her and arching her back, which shows she is basically ready to accept the stud. It's just... Uh, a matter of time now. Now he keeps running back and enticing her, like telling her it's safe to come out. He goes over to the back corner. Um, this could go on for quite some time, so what I'll do is I'll cut this stage three short and I will bring you back when we get to the more exciting bit. Now I'll update this um, in due course. So that's the end of um, stub part three. As I say, this could go on for quite some time. Probably I'll spend the next hour or so just watching these two that they're not gonna have each other's faces off uh, but they seem quite calm at the moment uh, get back to you in due course when things liven up <laughs>